despite a little bit of an aftertaste, this still was a damn fine cup. Hey guys, so this is my review for my entire thoughts of season 11 of Supernatural. Now, I'll talk about the end at the end, but this season was near on phenomenal. The end, the beginning was a bit of an interesting start. The whole darkness disease idea was something interesting, but it didn't really go anywhere, which was something I was kind of wondering if it was, but it didn't. It was just a one-time little thing. However, the aspect of the darkness, we took six episodes before we found out what she was in full, and that was great. That's something that Supernatural hasn't done in a little while, is actually explain or add an air, uh, add an air of mystery to a villain. Like, we had the mother of all, which was interesting, but then they killed her before the season was even over, which again was a that's something that I actually kind of commend Season 6 for, but we knew the darkness was a big, bad evil, but we didn't know the full extent of it other than the fact that it had been released by the Mark of Cain. So each episode leading up to her maturing, we found out another aspect about her, another aspect about her, about her. And then when we found out that she was God's sister, we're like, oh. And then they dropped the little that antidote about going to the cage and that was amazing when they did the season finale the mid-season finale was phenomenal that was one of the best episodes of supernatural since season yeah since season five and i was on my well i was on the edge of my seat the whole time with that episode admittedly when they came back it was a little underwhelming but it was still really good not not, not only did it this season have great story episodes but it had great filler episodes that were reminiscent of the first season with while they weren't entirely about the story they still talked about story aspects what about the baby episode the entire episode filmed inside the car that was one of the best episodes of the season because of how it was made and of the story aspects i thought it was fantastic i loved that episode that was one of the best episodes of the season in terms of just an episode itself. Sure, there was some duds here and there, like the wrestling episode could have been way better in my opinion, or there was the killer clown thing, the bunny rabbit thing, it was not the greatest. And then there was Sheriff Mills, Sheriff Mills came back and she had a really a cool episode. Admittedly, Cass's daughter's acting needed a little bit of touch up, but again, that episode was really good. Now, before I talk about the end, there's an episode I need to talk about that I realized there was the one where they went to the mental hospital and there was the girl who was deaf who was trying to hunt down the siren that had killed her parents. And the whole episode, the brothers were talking to her about the aspect of revenge and how it really doesn't solve anything. And that is parallel literally to what happened at the end of this season. And admittedly, in the final five like episodes, the whole aspect of the darkness, I was like, holy crap, there's no way they can come down from this. This is so incredibly intense. And it was. And when it finished, I was sitting there going, that's what you're going with? Mainly, the whole idea of the darkness and God making up is actually something, it wasn't what I expected, and at first I was a little bit niffed, but I do actually like the idea that they didn't kill this villain. This is the first time they've actually been able to reason with it. Admittedly, it happened rather quickly, and the fact that Amara cares so much about this planet, but I think it's because she cared about the Earth this time, and aside from other God's other creations, because she had hurt her brother, and her brother was dying. And she realized that without him, she would pretty much just be destroyed as well. So, that aspect I don't mind. Now, there's a few people who are getting at me for being mad about the season, the show continuing, and I thinking the Men of Letters aspect being stupid. Well, okay, for a tr show to be interesting, you need an element of danger for your characters. You need a sense of drama. Drama makes you worry for the characters, and that's hard for a show that's been going on for 11 seasons. And it's hard to actually think, well, they're not in any sort of trouble. 
Now, some of you are like, oh yeah, you know, it'd be great to see them go and do normal stuff again. It's like, that's all well and good, but when you just hmm, face God and the dark darkness and you face Lucifer, there's nothing higher. That you're here here. Man of Letters is like below the view screen here. There is no element of danger for these boys anymore. None. Absolutely none. And that's something that that's what makes me want to watch the show is a sense of danger for the characters. There's there's always been Admittedly, season 8 didn't really have it. Season 9 kind of had it. Season 10 definitely did with the whole uh, Dean, Demon Dean thing. But I don't want to watch a show where the characters are just like, Oh yeah, let's hang out, okay, you know, there's these guys who want to take us, but you know... Here's my other issue, is if they ever run into trouble, they've got God on speed dial. Sure, he said he's going away, but they've met him now. He's been in the room with them and helped them. He can help them again. That's what is niffing me the most, is whatever issue they come across, they can be fixed. It can be repaired. So that's my issue with this whole aspect of the show continuing also Jeremy Carver has left and Jeremy Carver was the guy who brought this show back from the brink of season 7 this show almost got cancelled after season 7 but he brought it back and apparently he's gone now so I'm the fact that there's another showrunner means that they're going to continue this freaking show and as much as I'd like to see that it's season 12 for Christ's sake we need to end on a dignifying note Either way, I did enjoy this season. Admittedly, while I didn't enjoy the ending as much, I thought the entirety of it was great. If they keep this aspect of having filler episodes that still have story elements very reminiscent to the first season, I'll be fine with that. Anyways, in the end, I'm going to give the entirety of season 11 a 6 out of 7. I think this was a phenomenal season, had great aspects, had great characters, great drama. And, admittedly, while the ending was not as perfect as I would like, I still very much enjoyed this season as a whole, and it's been great to talk about it with you guys. I may do a ranking of all the seasons in a further videos, but that means I'd have to watch them all. So that will take some time. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed my reviews for the season. Please, if you were interested in watching other of my videos, check out the uh, playlist that's in the bottom, and uh, just keep on watching. All right. See you guys later.